Hello, my name is Rohit. I'll be walking you through a series of tutorials for Droid Tweet, which is a reference Android implementation for Twitter for learning Android. The first tutorial which we talk about is a Hello World tutorial. I'll assume you guys already know how to set up Android. There are plenty of tutorials available for setting up Android. Let's create the first tutorial, call us New Hello World. We'll choose Android 2.2 as a target operating system for which we are building this application. I will name the application as New Hello World. I'll name the package as com tutorial new hello world remember the package name of the application is unique across uh, all the applications in android market so no two applications in android market can have the same package name that's why your package name should be reverse of your company's domain for example twitter.com should typically be com.twitter.something I'll say the activity name as hello world activity. An activity in Android is a screen, a UI where we're actually going to show a list of tweets where you're gonna put a button, things like that. The main target SDK version is seven, which means the backward compatibility. If you can look at over here, we are saying we want to be backward compatible to Android 2.1 version. For any applications, uh, sorry, for any devices which has, uh, let's say Android OS 1.6 or 1.5, this application won't even be seen for those. So we'll click finish over here. And we got our application called us New Hello World. Let's just run this application. So we'll run the application. It's going to come up. It's going to show up on the emulator. So as you can see, we have new hello world as the name of the application as we entered on the wizard. And it's showing a text called as hello world, hello world activity. Now let's just go through some of the files to understand how this actually works. Now when I'm walking you through the entire project, the main file to focus on is uh, Android manifest. While the Android ADT Eclipse plugin gives you a nice view, I always prefer the XML view. So we mentioned the package as com tutorial.new hello world. This is how the application is recognized in the Android market. This has to be unique. The second thing is the Android version code. Remember, this is a numerical value. If I upload this application on Android market with version code one, Next time, if I have to upload a newer version of the application, it has to be a number greater than one, say two. So version code is actually the version code which the Android market requires, and you have to each time provide a bigger version code. On the other hand, the version name is a string property, which is a human readable property. Android market typically does not do anything with this. This is just for human readable first reason. We mentioned that we want to have a backward compatibility till Android SDK 7. So you want to support minimum SDK version 7, which means this application will be seen on devices with Android operating system 2.1 and above. The application part is mentioned in this XML snippet called as application. Now when, while I take you back to my emulator, you will see the new hello world icon appears like this and the name is new hello world. If you take a look at what we see over here, for the same application we have an icon and a name. Let's see how we can find where this icon is. So whenever we see at the rate drawable or anything at the rate, we have to simply go and expand REST folder. REST folder stands for resources folder. Now when we say drawable, 
we don't see a folder named drawable over here but we see a folder named drawable HDPI, drawable LDPI and drawable MDPI. So these are drawable specific for devices with those resolution. So let's just expand drawable HDPI and let's look at the icon. This is the same icon which we are seeing over here in the Android emulator. So that's the same thing. Remember at compile time you may have three different folders depending on which HDPI, LDPI and DPI version. At runtime, because the phone only has one resolution, this will resolve to either one of those. That's why you just have to say drawable. So for a device like Android Nexus S, this will probably map to drawable HDPI and this will be the image. So the reason why we have these three different kind of folders is because of the resolution. The images will be larger uh, or smaller with higher or lower uh, density, which is depending on the platform. Second thing is strings app. So again, when you see, when you see at the rate, go inside rest folder. You don't see anything like strings or so go inside values. You will see a strings as XML. Here, if you go and you look at app name, it's new hello world, and that's what appears. Another interesting thing about Android Manifest is it's not this portion of the of uh, the XML which defines the icon name which we see on the Android emulator. In fact, what happens is Android actually goes to all the applications which are installed. It goes to all the Android manifest files. It looks for all the activities. Now I mentioned activity is a screen. So when I click on an icon in the launcher, it will launch an activity. The way Android selects what all icons to place over here depends on an activity being defined in Android manifest file, which has an intent filter. An intent filter says that you can launch this activity, you can you know call this activity if your intention is as follows. And we are saying that intention is of a category main launcher which means that I want to launch this application and this uh, activity is the main and is, is one of the main entry points. Now, if I mention one more activity like this with one more intent filter like this, you will see two icons in the launcher instead of one for this particular application. Typically, we see only one of these things in application because it's easier for the user to relate because if I install one product, I want one launcher. That's to clarify things. Now let's just go into the source area. So this is the Hello World activity, which extends the activity, as I mentioned to you. It's a UI. And it's strange, I'm not seeing anything in the UI which you know, talks about a text view with some text like Hello World. Let me come to that. So first of all, in the hello world activity, it has certain life cycle methods. Uh, the main method being on create. The on create method is called whenever this activity is created by Android. It's initialized by calling on create. In this case, the second line says set content view r dot layout dot main. In the beginning, you will find it difficult to understand what is this r dot layout dot main. This r file is actually a generated class. Instead of going into details of this, I'll, I'll tell you how to read the R file. So when you get the R file, look at the resources directory. Look at dot layout. Look at the folder dot layout. Look at main. Main. And this is the XML. This XML says that this is how the UI should look like. So what we are saying is in this activity, load this XML. This XML talks about uh, a container which is a linear layout. A linear layout is like a panel. It can be a vertical panel or a horizontal panel. In this case, it's a vertical panel defined by orientation vertical. And it has a text view, which makes sense because we are showing that text. Now, when you look at text view, it has a text which again says at the rate string hello. So follow the rule. When you are at the rate, go to resources. When you have string, go to value string and look at hello. It says hello world hello world activity. 
In this case, I'm just going to replace it with a smiley. And that should show it over here. Another thing to understand is, in this case, we don't have any height and width defined in terms of percentage or pixels. This is how things are different in Android, and it's in a good way. Here, what we're saying is that the linear layout, which is a top level layout, should take the entire height and width of the parent. Whereas the text view, which is below, should take the entire width, but it should take only the required height so that it can wrap its content, which is the string. And the graphical layout is very nice in the Android uh, new version. It actually shows you what you're going to see. So this is what we expect to see. And if you actually run this, you will see the same thing. So you see a smiley over here. So this is about how a hello world activity looks like. Now we'll add some changes to this so that we can do some kind of programming. The first thing that you'll do is we'll add an ID to this text field, let's say hello underscore text is the ID of this. Then we'll add a button. Well, we can do it from the graphical editor, but this is uh, more productive for a developer like me. So we'll say click me. Now you must be wondering why we are saying add the red plus ID. What it really means is you should create this ID even if it does not exist beforehand. This is what it means. So we're going to create this and we're going to put a text for this. It says string click me. Remember we have we do not have anything like click me. That's why it's going to give an error. So we'll go to strings and we'll say Click me. Once you do that, the error goes away. Then we'll go to the hello world activity. What we do over here is we we'll get a reference of the text view because you want to change the text view when you click on the button. So if you look at this graphical editor, you will see hello world, click me. Before I do that, I'll go to the strings and I'll say two new strings hello just stands for hello and I'll add a more string called as world which stands for world so we'll transition from hello to world on click of a button over here when I click click me hello will change to 